Hi everybody, I'm Patricia McNeely. How are you today? Welcome to my channel. My channel is about twin flames, ascension, soulmate, love and healing and getting better and ascending and up leveling and getting out of that old paradigm and all that other stuff. How are you today? <laughs> hey, in today's video, I want to talk to you about a little bit about grid work. This is a big question that I get a lot. Um, it comes up in the classes. It comes up casually with people. They're like, hey, what's grid work? First, let me say something. Grid work is the word I got for it. And sometimes I don't like that word because it sounds a little bit like a matrix. But what the best way I can describe it is generally it's um, a series of areas that you're connected to. So for example, it's your home, it's your abode where you actually lay your head down to sleep. It's your neighborhood, it's your community. And depending on how ascended you are, it could be a larger area. Now you're the caretaker of this area. So if you're just starting off in your ascension, you could be just doing your house, your home, making that feel safe, welcome, cozy, warm and fuzzy, um, you know, a good vibe in there. It takes a little bit. Sometimes it involves spring cleaning, cleaning out closets, drawers, keeping the place clean, tidy. It's more than that, though. It has to do with energy. So grid work has to do with energy, the energy of a place and how that energy affects your body. Now, how is this helpful for you? Because I want to stop everyone right now if they're thinking of going into an us and them mentality. Okay, those mentalities of like, yeah, and another thing, people were in my space. And they were in my face and in my space. And, you know, I want them to go to outer space. And I don't want any people's energies in me. Okay, good. That's good. Bravo. Because... You actually need to do grid work to keep you, your union, from being besmirched. To quote Shakespeare, do not allow the energy of others to besmirch your union. I don't know if he actually said that. I'm saying it. Okay, like how do you keep people's energies out and yet make you feel good about the planet and the world and people, even while you see other people are struggling or have problems or mental health issues or a bad day. Okay, some people are just having a bad day. And your perception may be like, wow, they're really off, they're crazy, they're bitchy, they're cranky, they, you know, and it could just be that they're a wonderful person having one off day and you were bearing the brunt of it, okay? How do you stop letting yourself bear the brunt of other people's stuff, okay? Because that is one of the very noticeable things as we are coming out of the pandemic is during the lockdowns, during the worldwide lockdowns, everyone was like, rah, rah, is this boom, bah? We are all in this together. We're all together. We're one world. And now it's back to business as usual, the way it tried to be, before the pandemic, which wasn't really correct because we shouldn't be killing each other and hitting each other and, you know, maiming each other and abusing each other. Like, all it's got to stop. It's like the pandemic, as bad as it was, was like the buck stops here. It's time for real change. How you start that, you know, kind of starts with that expression, be the change. How do you be the change? Well, first of all, that's where it comes right down to your actual humble abode, no matter how big or small it is, no matter if you are a consumer or a minimalist, it starts right with you. So how do you do this? How do you make your place warm and cozy and fuzzy, have a good night's sleep, um, keep the boogeyman out, get the things out from under the bed, get the shadows out of the closet, Keep the shadows of the retrogrades and everyone else's stuff out. Grid work. Okay. So your grid is actually multidimensional. 
your grid is also intended to expand out because that expands you. So you start with yourself and it's not necessarily your body because your body is body work. Grid work happens through your body, believe it or not. It's the opposite, okay? You don't do body work by doing the grid. You do the grid work by doing the body work and working with your own body because your body is the big giant crystal resonator to do 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 Send the vibe that you want to send. What are some of your next ones? Work, play areas, places you love to go, grocery stores, like all of your mundane, banal, in, in one day and out the other day, things that you need for your life. Spiritual avoidance is really rampant. That's where people are like, oh, I can't handle the energies there. I totally avoid it. Okay, you don't need to. You could go to a casino, you could go to the racetrack, you could go into a dive bar, and they will not besmirch your energies. But it takes a little bit of time and it takes work. So we are talking about grid work and your new life. This is my book five that I wrote in my Twin Flame Body series. And I explain it in more detail. And further, I explain how to get going with that. Now, if this sounds interesting to you, let me just describe a couple of things that I've done personally to help. Okay, one of the areas should be things you need in your life. Only you can define what things you need in your life. Do you need a reliable grocery store? Yeah. Do you need to live in a food desert? No. Do you need healthy, quality, you know, reasonably priced food? Yeah. Okay. What about your family? Okay. Because they're not left out of this picture. Even if your family has hoarding issues, money issues, addiction issues, gambling issues, thievery issues. Okay. Because yeah, those run in a family. People can have thieves in their family. In fact, a lot of people do, but they don't realize it because the buck stops here. It's where we, are, we are ameliorating the strains. That DNA is needing to diminish greatly so that we can all be at peace. Now let's get back to right here. How do you do this so that you have the things you need and you want? Well, it should include systems. Do you need health care? Do you need education? Do you need legal systems? Do you need some legal resolution of something? Grid work. That's how you do it. And I describe that in my book on what kind of systems it would help you with. Now, what other things do you need to do? You need to transform these things just for you, for your life. As you do that, that's the pivot point. Pivot it forward. That's the shift. Things have already shifted. If they don't shift right here at ground level where you need it, what's the point? The energy has shifted. You need to implement that into your own physical life for your own benefit. I have done this. So to give you a personal example, when my son was in um, junior high school, and I did this when he was elementary school to junior high, I planted my energy using grid work. And then I unplugged it to go to the high school, also using grid work. Now, this requires physical interaction. And it's not something that you can sit there like this and just use your third eye for it. I'm sorry, that's insufficient for your 5D work. Might have worked in 3D to 4D. In fact, sometimes it did. And sometimes it was a little hit or miss because it didn't resolve the fears, okay? I teach you how to do this so that you make it easy. You do it with the energy of your etheric twin flame for your benefit, for both of your benefits, okay, wherever they are, for your family and for the greater good of all. Is it a legal system? Like, do you need child support? Do you need a divorce or breakup situation to finish? Is there 
you know, some other lawsuit? How do you get this? Were you accused of something? Is someone you love dealing with a court case? Have you yourself picked up a case based on the fact that you took this twin flame out of hand? There's a lot of people that get restraining orders. They're accused of stalking, micro stalking. That's not cool anymore. Please stop. You're going to pick up a case. You don't need that. Okay, so um, what about other things you need? Career, job, the calling, the money to get educated, etc., etc. Health, health and well-being, continued health care maintenance. Okay, getting angry at the government doesn't make the changes. Doing the grid work does help with the changes. Okay, yeah, to an extent, you got to get angry because there needs to be that little nudge or push or big push but it doesn't need to be destructive or self-destructive. Please promise me you will never, ever, ever let anyone destroy you ever again. Pinky promise. Come on. Pinky promise. All right. Take charge of what you can take charge of through your body, and let's get this going because this is another aspect of real living at a higher level and up leveling. Just because people out there going, woohoo, we're up leveling, or oh, you can up level now, or you should up level. How do you do it? I have the very simple, easy instructions on how to do it. Now, if you join my Empress series that I am starting, are you an Empress? Are you ready to build your empire? Are you getting the empire that you need? Do you need your emperor? Does your emperor need you? Are you the, not the god and goddess of your own domain? Of course you are, okay? Again, platitudes, if you're just saying it and not putting in the actions, it ain't going to happen the way you expect it to. But let me say this. It's not that you have to do all the actions. It's an engagement. It's a cooperation. It's a collaboration. This is the real soul work, okay? It has to engage your light body. It has to include merges. It has to include very gently rolling those people away that you don't want in your grid. So let me tell you something that happened from junior high to high school. I had done the grid work. Now, I'm not sure if I should take entire credit for this, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it certainly didn't hurt. There was a summer segment, and there were boys that... One of them had a gun in their house. And in fact, there were two guns and the parents were in Europe. And what happened? They went on Snapchat because they are children without impulse control. It's not thinking. It's not think, Mark, think. It is what is their impulses and can they manage it? They can't. <laughs> to them, it's like a big deal. Woohoo, I've got a gun. They were flashing these guns on Snapchat and they, they actually said, Guess what we're bringing to the first day of school? Okay, a Glock. All right? Now, you might say, well, that only happens in certain neighborhoods or in rural, you know, rural areas. Yeah, we have guns. We have to hunt for food. We go, okay, it doesn't happen at school. It shouldn't happen at school. Crisis averted. Christ, I did not personally avert the crisis. What I feel happened is the grid word made it safe so that things get caught before they got to be a huge problem and bloodshed, okay? This is a part of what your grid work should be doing for you. And there's other things, bringing in programs, bringing in the funding, the things that are really needed, getting it right down to ground level where it has to be. Who's in with this with me to actually bring the angelic back to the humanity, right? Okay, Let's get going on it. Check the links below in the descriptions. Please support the cause. Please have a session with my practitioners. They are very good people who have studied long and hard to be able to help you and get you on track. Thank you so much for watching. The link for the book is below. If you join my Empress series, you get that book and another book included. And we will answer your questions and get you up and running. Thanks so much. Bye now.